Okay, we're gonna have a little training session with the big guy, Samson. Come here, Samson. Good boy. Now, Samson can put on a display, make his owners a little worried about having him out of the house when kids are walking by or other dogs, hard to take him to the vet, things like that. But in reality, I see a bit of a an insecure dog, actually. He is super sweet, really likes to be by me, a um, little hesitant in walking around the yard, things like that. So we're going to help build his confidence, give him the training he needs. But, you know, in the end, he's going to have a lot more stability and not feel the need to react like he has been. Now, if he does react, I have to tell him that we don't want him to do that. So that's going to be part of the uh, equation as well, to uh, be able to communicate very clearly that those reactions are not acceptable, but we're also trying to you know, get through his head that they're not necessary either. So what we're doing is um, we're going to have a little training session with him by moving him around, uh, getting him used to following my direction, getting him on the place cot here, coming when called. This is all a foundation of obedience that's going to do a lot with his uh, overall behavior. Uh, reliable obedience is definitely a foundation for that. So Join me as we work on this a little bit. I got uh, his e-collar on and prong collar for guidance. Um, just watch the process. So I'm going to ask him to get on the place cot here. He's done that once before. We'll see how he does today. I'm going to give him a little stimulation here on the e-collar, just enough for him to feel it and want it to go away. That's the goal. Just enough to feel it and want it to go away. As soon as he reaches the goal here, turns off, okay? So I'm gonna apply it, I'm gonna tell him Samson, place, good. Okay, you see that is very, very subtle, but the release has to be on time to let him know he did the right thing. Very good boy, Samson. He's very agreeable too, if uh, he understands what you're looking for. Let's go, good. You see, I invited him off. Okay, that's important too, because the end goal is for him to stay there until I tell him he can get off. Right now we're getting comfortable with it and I'm gonna work on inviting him off as opposed to him just leaving on his own. Good boy, come on. Come, come, sit, good. See, I'm backing up drawing him to me and I'm labeling the action of him coming to me with come. That helps him get used to coming to me on command. Good boy, I got some nice engagement with him. He hasn't been interested in treats. So that's why you'll not see me use it with him. Other dogs, yes, he's not interested. So we'll work with what we got. Let's go, place, good boy, sit, good. You see, I told him to place just a step ahead of him actually doing it. So I tell him, and he does it, and he gets rewarded with some nice praise. Good boy. He kind of leans into me a little bit just to have a little affection. He's a sweet boy. Come. Good. Just having him follow me around like this is actually very good. Helps him, you know, get in the mode of being aware of me. And following my lead. Oh, come on. Good. You see, he gets past me and I turn around and go the other way. Come on, come. Good, come on. Good, come. Good boy. I'm being random. I'm making moves to be in the lead. I don't want him just deciding which way we're going. Come on, he gets ahead and I turn. Come on. Good boy. Come, good. Oh, stop getting ahead of me now. Come on.
place. Good boy. Sit. Okay, pressure on. Sit. Pressure off. Good boy. And when I say pressure, <laughs> I mean something that you probably wouldn't, actually you would not be able to feel it yourself. Okay, it's on a two out of a hundred. Very subtle, very subtle. Hopefully he's acknowledging it at all um, because that's part of the process right now. So anyhow, we're gonna continue with this. He's a good boy and we're gonna um, see some nice things from Samson. Thanks for watching.